Hey, okay, I'm gonna be doing 10 minutes of cardio. Um, I am basically wearing PJs because getting changed sometimes seems like too much work. <laughs> and the reason I won't get started, so if you need to, just do it in your PJs. Um, I have already done a workout before this, a strength workout, so I'm well warmed up. If you feel you need to, go for it. If, uh, if that's a barrier, skip the warm up and just start light and ease yourself into it, you're right? You're trying to make this as simple as possible. If warming up seems like too much work, don't do it. All right, 10 minutes of cardio. We're gonna be doing kettlebell swings and step ups. Really, if you don't wanna do either of those, you could substitute for whatever works for you and just you know follow along to keep motivated, to keep, keep on track. I'm gonna be doing 20 swings at the start of the first minute. At the start of the second minute, I am going to do step ups for the whole minute. So there's really not a lot of rest in intended. The only time I will have rest is after the 20 swings. The minute that I do the 20 swings, whatever time is left before the next minute, that's when I'm resting. So I anticipate I will get about 20, 25 seconds of rest. The step up interval, one minute, is gonna be the full minute. Now, I can control the intensity with step ups by going slow. <laughs> so that's how I will do it. If my heart rate feels like it's getting too high, I will slow down my movements and just try to keep going. So it's minute one, 20 swings, that could be 15, that could be 10. Make the number appropriate for you and the way you're using. Minute two, a full minute of step ups. I'm gonna do that five times, so it'll be 10 minutes. The only thing I have to do is grab the right kettlebell. If you cannot do kettlebell swings, but you want to do something along those lines, go for cleans, goblet cleans, two-handed cleans, or deadlifts. Okay, one minute timer, there is a halfway mark. There is a 30 second mark. So if you wanna make this 30 on and 30 rest, like maybe for the step ups, taking half the time to rest, go for it. Starting in 20 seconds. I am going to do my best to coach you through the kettlebell swings. Uh, remember to tailor the number to what's best for you. So if 20 is too high, go to 15, go to 10, whatever you need to. All right, take a step back from your kettlebell. Go, push your bum back, grab the handle, hike it high between your legs and stand. Between the legs and stand. So your wrists should be right up high between your legs, right in your crotch. It is hard to count when I'm talking, but I'm gonna do the best I can. When you stand, your body should be in a straight line. Shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, straight line. So I've not really counted. So I'm just gonna do a couple reps past halfway and then I'm gonna stop. Now I'm resting. Next minute will be a full minute of step ups. I will do one on the right, one on the left, right, left for the whole minute. Okay. Ready. Go. Make sure you put your entire foot on the bench or the chair before you start up, before you step up. You don't want your heel to be hanging off the edge. Now this could be anything. This could be jump rope. It could be burpees. It could be anything that feels right for you. If you don't have a lot of equipment, jog in place, march in place. That's that way. You can also hang on to the wall. If balance is the barrier to doing this, hang on to something. It is still worthwhile. You're still gonna get so much out of it, even if you're not, <laughs> even if you're not balancing on your own. Okay. Right back into those swings. Step back from the kettlebell. Bum goes way back, knees bent, grab the handle. Hike, stand, hike, stand. When you stand, squeeze your legs, squeeze your bum, engage your lower body. Make sure your knees are open, your whole foot is on the floor. A 
again. I can't count while I'm talking. <laughs> so I just listened for the halfway mark and I did a few more after that. Heart rate is high. If this feels too much, make it easier. Lower the reps, slow down. Okay. Step ups, round two. If you have a hard time switching feet, then do 30 seconds on the right and 30 seconds on the left. That's a thing. <laughs> it requires balance and coordination to switch feet. So that's a good thing. But if that's the, if that part is just too hard, it's not working out, do one side, then the other. So that's halfway. Try not to look straight down all the time. <laughs> I do. It's a bad habit. It changes the position of your upper back, which could change your lower back, which could change everything. Okay, round three. Take a step back from your kettlebell. Bung goes back, bend your knees, hike, stand. So when you bend over, look at the ground. When you stand, look forward. You wanna keep your neck straight the whole time. <sighs> Kettlebell swings are tough. <laughs> they take practice. For some, it comes naturally. For others, it doesn't. Try not to take it personally. <laughs> Just keep practicing. I have said this so many times, but imagine you wanted to play piano. It would take time. Step ups. You would not show up to a piano class expecting that you should already be able to do it. <laughs> you would take your time. You would practice, right? It's the same thing. It doesn't matter that it's fitness. Everything requires practice to get better. I'm looking down again. Don't look down, look forward. So maybe you feel like you need to look down <laughs> so you don't fall off the step. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. Look down a little bit. Just try not to round your shoulders. Try not to round your back. We have two rounds to go. Okay. Here we go, round four. Step back from your kettlebell, bum goes back, knees bent, hike, stand. If you can, exhale at the top. That will help you get into a good rhythm for your breathing, where you're inhaling at the bottom and exhaling at the top. Halfway. Oh my goodness. I'm wearing socks because I have a bit of a thing with my toes. I've got some uh, blood flow issues in my toes and they hurt when it's cold. <sighs> Step ups. And so even though <laughs> we've only just started fall, my toes are cold a lot and it hurts. So I have to wear socks most of the time, even when I'm working out. Stand all the way up. Don't stay half and bend over for this. All the way up. Slow down if you need to. If your step is too low and it feels too easy, 
by your standards, you can hold weights to make it harder. Keeping in mind that will fatigue your hands. If you're holding weights for the step ups and the swings, your hands are going to be challenged more. It's not bad, it's just hard. Okay, one more round. Last time, take a step back, bum goes back, knees bent, hike and stand. It'll take time to figure out the exact width of your feet, what feels best for you. Again, just keep practicing. Wide enough that you can keep your entire foot on the floor. When you finish, set it down ahead of you. Start and finish the same way every single time. Don't just start swinging and then come to an abrupt stop. That technique could really hurt your back at some point. Oh man. This is the last minute. So think about using this workout anytime you just need a boost. You know, if you're thinking about your fitness as just a means to burn calories, 10, 10 minutes isn't gonna seem like enough, right? But that's not the only reason. A really, really awesome benefit is just that it feels good. It will help clear your head. It'll help wake up your body. There are so many more benefits, especially mental health benefits, to fitness than just burning calories. And you can make this easier, and you can make it harder. Following along is a good, oh, done. Following along is a good way to get it done. It's more motivating, but you don't have to follow along exactly what I'm doing. You can make it your own. That's it. We're done. Thank you.